uh, the reason you would use a, a fire rated duct is to have an HVAC system, whether it's a stair pressurization system or a garage exhaust system, be able to withstand a catastrophic fire uh, for two hours. The general uh, rating is a two hour rating. Um, and what you find in a catastrophic fire situation is the temperatures are extreme. So as part of the testing, uh, these components or a system is tested in uh, an oven or a furnace to uh, well over 2000 degrees. And what you find, and this is kind of the, the root uh, basis for this product, is that steel loses about 90% of its tensile strength when it's raised to that temperature. So if you have a threaded rod that's good for a thousand pounds and you heat it up to 2000 degrees, it's only good for a hundred pounds. So standard HVAC ductwork, hanging systems uh, per SMACNA don't meet the muster uh, of a fire rated system. Uh, in fact, Sheet metal systems are designed to oftentimes fall out of the ceiling, leaving just the fire dampers yep. and uh, fire rated partitions. So the, uh, the system requires robust ductwork construction as well as hanging systems. So when you're looking at what is required and what gets installed, you're like, wow, this is really overkill. But it's not overkill because everyone, or we're all thinking 2000 degrees for two mm -hmm. hours. And um, if you take a, a section of HVAC duct and wrap it with fire wrap, it does not become a two hour rated uh, System. assembly because of the hangers primarily. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly where I was going with this, right? So this it's that like the weakest, link in the chain kind of theory on all these things, whether it's sheetrock, fire rated duct work, uh, fire wrap. And here's the thing, there's a lot of great solutions out of there, but as builders, we have to start looking at them as assemblies and not as um, having a fire rating in the, of themselves, 